Thank you for coming back to my channel. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. Okay, we're going to talk about this. Uh, it's a important announcement from Joe Biden. We're going to be talking about the senator's pay. Uh, Ukraine wants more from the U.S. And several other topics. But first, <clears throat> the most important thing of the day is this is very important, y'all. The Hershey Corporation has announced that they won't be able to keep up with the demand for Halloween candy this year. Y'all, there is a lot more stuff right now that the American people are worried about besides Halloween candy. But this made headline news that they won't be able to keep up with the demand for Halloween candy priorities right okay Ukraine they say now they need some F-16 fighter jets so who do you think will end up sending these F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine well if you think the way I think it would be the United States and do you know the price tag of one F F-16 fighter jet is 62 million dollars just one 62 million dollars and you know we won't send just one again that's your tax pack tax money hard at work for the american people right okay it's not for us okay let's talk about the senator's pay which is on my thumbnail <clears throat> the average Salary for a senator is 174,000 per year. Nancy Pelosi, on the other hand, makes two, $233,000 per year. And I guess that's because she is the Speaker of the House also. So I can understand her getting a bump in pay over the others. But y'all, I know $233,000 is a lot of money. But it don't add up to her net worth, which is $171 million. And before you say that this is her and Paul Pelosi's combined income, no, it's not. This is just Nancy Pelosi herself, $171 million. And she only makes $233,000 a year. And I say only. That's still a lot of money, but it don't add up to $171 million. This is All of this comes from Business Insider. So if you don't believe me, you can check them out. Uh, now, on the other hand, Paul Pelosi's net worth is $120 million, on top of her $171 million. So you wonder why don't Nancy Pelosi care about the American people? Because she don't know what the American people's going through. Joe Biden, on the other hand, he is a president of the United States, and his net worth is only nine million dollars. So, I guess money follows corruption, and I guess this proves who's the most corrupt in Washington. Because we know Nancy Pelosi and Paul Pelosi has made their millions by illegal insider information for the stock market which Nancy Pelosi creates these bills for that will affect the stock market in other words she writes her own checks if that was you or me we would be in prison but no she's a she's the head of the uh, house and She's the Speaker of the House. So, she gets rewarded. We would go to prison. Okay, the big announcements from... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. The big announcement from uh, Joe Biden. He said he will be sending another $550 million to Ukraine this week. Again, your tax money going to another country to help them. And to help them what? All of this money that we've sent so far has done nothing. I mean, the war is still going on. People still dying. Buildings still getting destroyed. 
threats are still being made for all other parts of the world. I mean, this money has done nothing to help. If anything, it's made things worse over there. And again, what about the American people? People on SSI, SSDI, SS, I mean, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA. What about those people? Low income, no income. They can't get a penny's worth of, worth of help. But we can send all of these billions of dollars to Ukraine and other places. Makes no sense to me. I mean, we elected these lawmakers to serve the American people. But instead, they turn their back on us and serve other people. Okay, San Francisco and New York City is now seeing a, an outbreak of monkeypox. Don't figure. San Francisco and New York City, the two nastiest places in the United States, they're seeing an outbreak of monkeypox. And you know what they're telling their people? Just put a band-aid on your bumps. So I guess when they come out with this thing that we got to close down everything, we have to wear a mask, we have to glove up, we have to do all this, we can refer back to this statement here. Just put band-aids on your bumps. I do have some excite exciting news here. It looks like we will be getting another vaccine in the fall of this year. So come on y'all, let's roll up our sleeves and get in line with the rest of the sheep and do what Joe Biden wants us to do. Hell no. I hadn't got any boost. I got the two shots, but I didn't get any boost and I will not be getting any more vaccines. Y'all, in spite of my words against Joe Biden. I do worry about him. I worry about him a lot. And I do believe that he should remain in office until the end of his term. I hope no no bad luck on him. I, I hope he makes it to the end. Because just think, imagine about this for just, uh, just a minute. If something happened to Joe Biden, got sick, couldn't perform his duties, well, that's already happened. Uh, well, if he had to leave office for any reason at all, Kamala Harris would be our president. Right now, the American economy, the American people, we're in the toilet. And if Harris was our president, that would be just like somebody coming by and flushing that commode and we going down to down the drain completely it feels like we already are but we would know that feeling firsthand if kamala harris was our president so y'all please always say a prayer for joe biden whether you like him or not say a prayer for him he's our only hope away from kamala harris and nancy pelosi as a vice president he's our only hope away from that right now until the 2024 election and then they're all gone and I can't wait for that day. I'm going to throw the biggest party and I might even put it on a live stream. Yeah, somebody please remind me of that when that happens because I want to do that. I will throw a Taking America Back party and I will live stream it on YouTube. Y'all, I will say it like I've always said it and I always will say it. I know YouTube is stifling my views. I'm not getting many views at all anymore because they see this as hate speech. And it is not hate speech. This is love speech. But of course, oh well. Y'all, I will say it. Please keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can get us through all this garbage that we're facing right now. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those people, those elected employees in Washington, that they will one day turn around and do the right thing to help the American people. 
Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And please watch the video that's popping up here now that was yesterday's video. Thank you so much for all your support, and this will be the only video I make today. I love you all. Until tomorrow. Ciao.